NVIDIA's Ampere launch is still pretty fresh with many prospective buyers not being able to buy them even nearly four months after launch. However, NVIDIA is on a fast track to develop Ampere's successor. Though initially thought to be Hopper, we are now learning that Lovelace, named after British mathematician Ada Lovelace, is the architecture that is next in line after Ampere, and the initial specs already seem pretty drollworthy. Reports are coming in of a possible AD102 GPU in the works. First revealed by known leaker at Copate 7 Kimi, the good folks over at 3D Center have deduced some of the specs of the upcoming GPU. According to 3D Center, NVIDIA AD102 will sport 2x the graphics processing clusters GPCs of Turing IE12. This indicates that AD102 may house as many as 72 texture processing clusters TPCs, and 144 streaming multiprocessors SMS. This eventually means that we might see a total of 18,432 CUDA cores, a 71% increase compared to Ampere's GA102 die. Assuming a clock speed of about 1.8 GHz, we can see that NVIDIA Lovelace could theoretically offer nearly 66 teraflops of FP32 single precision performance. Of course, such massive core counts means a shift to a 5 nm process. The question remains whether NVIDIA will continue with Samsung or go with TSMC. There were reports of NVIDIA pre-booking TSMC's 5 nanometers capacity for 2021 while also leveraging Samsung for low-volume orders. NVIDIA Lovelace could be a stopgap solution branded as the RTX 40 series until a total architecture revamp sees the light of the day in the form of Hopper, which is expected to be a multi-chip module MCM. It is also possible that Hopper would be restricted to data centers as well, but it is too early to speculate. Since the launch of RTX 3080, there has been a huge debate between people regarding the feedback and experience. As some of the people have been fortunate enough to find a reliable seller pricing a decent sum of money, most fans have either been disappointed because of the whole, bot scalp, or due to lack of stock, delayed shipping. This could be one of the main reasons why the audience has already moved on to the next thing. A lot of people are already wondering about the launch of the RTX 40 series. Here's what we know the physical dimensions will most likely be the same in the RTX 40 series. The TDP of RTX 4080 will most likely be around 200W, similar to the recently launched RTX 3080. However, the RTX 2080 came with 320W which is not carried forth anymore. RTX 3080 has an increase of 75 MHz GPU base clock. So we can expect, if not the same, a similar increase in the RTX 4080. The initial variant of the RTX 4080 is expected to pack a graphics memory of 10 GB. Greater than RTX 4080 concept art via Reddit. Performance-wise, there was around an 85% performance boost between RTX 3080 compared to the RTX 2080. But one of the main reasons due for such a massive upgrade is the gap between the release dates two years. As we are expecting RTX 4080 next year, you might not see the same drastic increase. However, with every release, NVIDIA is edging more towards gaming and support for higher gaming quality. RTX 2080 was released on September 20, 2018, and RTX 3080 was released on September 20, 2020. Officials have been releasing the first variant of the series on the third Thursday of September month. So we are expecting the RTX 4080 to be launched in September 2022. The release of RTX 4090 will be followed after a month. But the launch of the RTX 4050 will be a much delayed launch, most likely by the end of the year or at the start of 2023.